Hey guys, it's Elijah and I am back with another video. And if you read by the title, um, I am tapping to my real estate videos a little bit. And um, before I start my classes, I'm actually starting that today. And um, that vlog's not out yet, but it will be coming out here shortly after this one. But before even paying for classes and showing you guys how to register and showing you guys what you need to buy, to get this started, I wanted to show you guys how expensive it is because in my previous videos, um, I'll have the playlist in the eye above me um, so you guys can start watching that. It's nothing in there except for like one video, but um, it's really expensive. And I kept hinting at that, like it's expensive. It's not cheap to be a real estate agent. And it has to be, it's like, it's commission-based. So when you're putting so much money into it, you're kind of scared to throw money out there. I was kind of, it was kind of a thought that I had, like, I'm about to dish out all this money and I don't even know if I'm going to be making the money back, but I'm having that hope in myself and I'm pushing myself to do all my research now. Another thing that I constantly say, research, research, research. Okay. I have been doing my research like crazy so that before I even get into anything, before I take my test, before I even sign up for my courses, I know what to expect. A lot of people, even me, I was one of them people, okay, I can be a real estate agent. I'm gonna be making money regardless. Everybody's gonna hand me what I need to sell a house. And that's not the case. Um, you're an individual operator you're a sole proprietor i don't know if that is the word of your business you're a business owner when you're a real estate agent a sales agent you are a business owner now you may have a broker who will help you and give you like tips but they're not going to hand it to you you're gonna have to get out get up and work okay so um yeah, I'm rambling on. That's going to be for a different video because this is a long journey. And if you guys want to watch my journey of becoming a real estate agent, um, I'm getting licensed in Texas and North Carolina. Um, my goal is I want to move to North Carolina next year. I graduate college next year. So as soon as I graduate, a week or two later, I want to be out to Texas. So I'm getting all my stuff planned now. So I'm planning like finances. Um, I'm going on apartment tours. I'm even trying to have multiple streams of income. But um, yeah, I touched on that in my previous video. And so this is going to be a chapter. I'm taking you guys through my classes and everything. So if you want to see that and watch me do it step by step, stay tuned. Um, so yeah. Um, also, if you are new... Also, if you are new to this channel, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It'll be really appreciated. And um, like this video, even if you don't subscribe, like this video, guys. Help me get it out to more people, okay? Let this become another stream of income for me at this point, okay? Um, so, yeah. All right, so if you read by the title, I am talking about the cost of becoming a real estate agent. I may be missing some, there may be more because some people do different things, but in specific, a lot of the videos that I watched, they used a lot of things to help them out in their process, training coaches and stuff like that. And I'm not gonna put all that, but I'm gonna put the main things that you guys, you're gonna need to do. You're gonna need to spend this money if you're gonna become an agent. Okay, so just be prepared, like, unless you're just big balling, go ahead. But some of us aren't, child. So, um, yeah. So let's get into startup costs. I'm going to be looking down because I have notes and I filled this whole notepad up. So that just tells you it's a lot going on. So first is your pre-licensing course. Um, that is what I'm actually signing up for today. So that's the class that you have to take before 
you could take your exam. So you have to take an exam for your pre-licensing course and then you have to take the national and the state exam for to actually get licensed. So um, the class that I looked at is called Fast Track. Um, it's for Texas. I don't know if it's for different states, but I'm looking at around $350. They do have cheaper ones. It's completely online. So that may be like really hard. If you wanted to go face to face, it's most definitely going to cost you more, but um, I'm doing online and it costs $350. You move at your own pace. I got the highest package that they had. And the reason I did that was because it comes with studying tools, um, practice exams before I take my actual exam, practice exams before I take the state and national exam. So I feel like paying that extra money will help me because yeah, you could take the class, then they'll give you an exam. And if you didn't take proper notes completely through, or even if you missed one little thing, you're messed up and you're going to have to go back and look through everything to get it. So I went ahead and just paid that extra so I can get my practice test every section. I'll get a practice test and my goal is going to be to get a 100. If I'm not getting a 100, I'm not doing something right. And I know if I get 100 on every single practice quiz, I feel like I should be good. Um... So after taking your pre-licensing course, you're going to have to get your fingerprints done and your background check. That's $38.25 in the state of Texas. Uh, and you're also going to have to pay a sales agent fee, also known as your licensing fee, which is $185. You have to pay to take the exam, which is $43. And it doesn't stop there. So let's say you take this exam you took a cheaper pre-licensing course because this class is pretty cheap. So I hope that it gives me what I need to know. If you don't, I'm going to be pissed. But this is why I say, make sure you do your research. I've done my research. A lot of people liked it. So I'm giving it a try. But I'm paying for the highest package so that I am able to get all the studying tips that I can get. Because if you get a cheap class, you're still going to have to pay for your own studying tips outside of class. And you don't want to do that. And you never know what's going to be legit or whatever. But for your pre-licensing course, you can go on the Trek website. And I also have a video on how to get started um, that I can put up in the eye now if I remember. But it's also in this playlist. I have a playlist for um, my real estate journey. Uh, but all those things that I listed, um, the sales agent fee is just a fee that you have to pay to get licensed. Let's say you fail because you didn't get a good class or you didn't pay attention. Or honestly, the test is just hard. That's what I hear. The test is hard. Nobody has said this test is easy for me. People may say that they passed on the first try, but they're like, it was still hard. The test is going to be hard. That's my thought process. It's going to be hard. Just putting it out there. And... So you're paying a lot of money for that. You fail that test and you retake it, you're paying again. Not the $185, I don't think. It's the exam fee, which is the $43. You're going to have to pay that every time you take it. Now, I think you can only take it three times max before you have to take another pre-licensing course, I believe. So um, let's say you put in an application after you do your pre-licensing because that's what you're gonna have to do that's why i say watch the previous video so you know what i'm talking about you're gonna have to get that done before the deadline you're gonna have to have for the state of texas there is a deadline for when you have to have your class stuff turned in after your application so that's why I'm doing my application a little towards the end of my class because I do live in North Carolina and I'm going to be communi not communicating, commuting to Texas to take my tests and stuff like that. So um, if your state has a deadline, it may not be the same for every state, but I know for Texas, you have a deadline from after you do your application, you have to have all of your documents turned in. You have to have your fingerprints submitted. You have to have your class like... It all needs to be done. If not, it's like another over $100. So save yourself the trouble. Save yourself the trouble. Um, and then there's 
it does it doesn't stop there but that is just the main things that you need to even get started so you're looking at about well i'm looking at about 600 but i've seen some people it ranges up to a thousand dollars some people pay 600 dollars just for their class going face to face so um me i can't do the face to face i'm in a different state i'm a college student i also work so i just don't have the time so i'm going to do the online and with the online I get to move at my own pace which I actually like um there's also going to be a renewal fee every two years for the state of Texas so I don't know if you're gonna have to take another exam but I know you're gonna have to pay this $110 to be a sales agent to renew it every other year so that's not a lot, but it just still goes to show it never stops. And it, honestly, it's still not done here. That's the every other year, but you have monthly payments and there's just still other one-time fees that you have to pay. But the ones that I listed before this are just ones that you need to become an agent, not to start working or anything. Um, there's an inactive license and an active license. So once you take your test and everything and pass your exam, you have an option to go ahead and activate your license by signing with a broker, or you could just leave it inactive um, for the two years if you want and renew it. But, you know, but if you choose to activate it, these are fees that you will then come into. So um, when choosing your brokerages, um, you have to pay close attention because a lot of places charge desk fees, brokerage fees. Um, this one lady, she said she had to pay $16,000 just to sign with her brokerage. Now, they didn't want the $16,000 up front. But best believe when she's selling houses, they want their $16,000. They're going to take it out of one house, but they break it in. So it's good to... Sometimes that could be a good thing because they give her a lot of tools um, to help her even sell houses. So she was able to pay them back. But, you know, that's why I say you got to do your research. Research, research, research. And if you made it this far in the video, go ahead and subscribe for me. If you didn't subscribe at the beginning, you should probably want to subscribe now. So I'm going to give you a second to subscribe. And like this video so that it can be shown everywhere. Yes. Okay. So, um, also, there is the National Association fee. Um, they call it NAR, National Association Real Estate Fee. That's $600 a year. Um, this guy, he well, he paid $650. I don't know. And that also depends on when you start because it prorates um, if you start, like, in the middle of the year or whatever. But that's a yearly fee that you'll have to pay, which is crazy. But that comes with... Um, some tools that you'll need as far as like looking for houses to sell or not houses to sell, but like people, customers, looking for customers, it gives you leads sometimes. Um, insurance, a lot of places require you to have insurance. Um, it's good to have insurance. Even if my place didn't require insurance, I would have it because you never know what could go wrong and we already spend the money. We already spend the money, y'all see. All these numbers I'm giving y'all, we're spending already. So, we don't want to be spending no more than we have to. Um, so, insurance, it's cheap. It could be $100 to $200 the whole entire year. My phone's ringing. Hope you guys can hear me. Okay. Um, lockbox, uh, this guy, he said he had to pay $50 a month. Now, a lot of people, they get them because it's what a lot of people use now. And that's pretty much when you're doing a showing, they have that keypad. You have to pay a fee for that. So, go ahead and pay that fee so that you're able to have, be open to show any house. Um, CRM is a lead organizer. So, they have different ones you can choose from. But that's pretty much... When you're calling to get different leads, you're going to need to keep up with phone numbers. You may have a lot of people that be, may be like, hey, call me in a week. Hey, call me in a month. It's going to be hard keeping track of that on paper. You could do a, like a planner. That could work. But wouldn't it be just great to have an online thing do it for you? 
And also, not only does it keep up with the calls, it keeps up with how many people you call a day, um, how many rejects, just all that stuff is good to have. So you can also track your own progress. So that's a monthly fee along with the lockbox. Um, there's like, um, I don't know what it's called, but a lot of people, they do the emails. So that leads me, actually, before I even get to emails, let me get into marketing. So before even finding a broker, some brokerages actually help you with this. But I've seen this lady, she wasn't able to. Uh, actually, a few people. You're going to have to get headshots. Headshots are looking at 100 to, well, I've seen some 100. I've seen some 300. 100 to 300 dollars for a headshot, unless you could take it yourself. But me, I'm getting mine done professionally so that I can just have that, um, that greatness that everybody else is serving. Unless, you know, one of y'all want to do it, just let me know. I'll pay y'all. If y'all ain't charging me that much, if y'all charging me that much, I may still go. Um, if you're subscribed. Uh, da, 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 da. So when I say marketing, you got headshots so that your face can be posted on all your stuff. You have cards, business cards that you want to pass out. You have just a lot of things when it comes to marketing. Also, that gets me into the email. Um, auto emails, I've seen them ranging from about $25 a month. And that's pretty much where when you, let's say you have leads or you have customers that are interested in working with you, or they say, let's work together in the future. You can set up emails that you email to all of them so that you don't have to constantly go to, hmm, this person email, this person email. Like it'll send a email to everyone. All you have to do is type it one time and it'll send it to all your leads for you. So that's a um, good thing to have. Definitely when you actually get to sell on a whole bunch, it's going to be good to have that. Um, some brokerages charge transaction fees, um, copy fees, transaction fees, as in like every house you sell, there's a fee. So um, that's why I say do your research. Um there could be plenty of other things. Like I said, it depends on your brokerage. It could depend on your state. But for the state of Texas, this is what I found out. Um, if you have any other expenses that I might have missed, go ahead and drop them in the comments and we can work together to, you know, make it to the top. Um, but yeah, what it's looking like from all the stuff that I've added up, I'm going to be spending $2,000 just to start trying, keyword, trying to sell a house. I'm gonna spend this $2,000 and it may still take me six months. It may take me a year, it may take me three months. Hell, it might take me two weeks, but I don't know when I'm gonna sell my first house. So I'm gonna put that, that's just how much trust I have in myself and you should trust in yourself. If that's something that you really want to do, don't let the money hold you back. And that's not what I'm trying to do. I'm not trying to scare you or anything, but I'm just trying to let you know, be ahead. Do your research. Know what you're going to have to spend. Know what the job consists of. Know how draining it is. Like I see how draining it is for people. I've been doing research. People quit within a year. People quit within a month. It's because it's hard, it's challenging. And from the outside on TV shows that I watched that actually got me into liking this, TV shows when I was a kid, they make it look so great and easy and it's not. And I'm not even in it yet. But you see, I'm in that mindset. So that's why I just want to let you guys know, be ahead, do your research. Even after watching my video, watch other videos hear different perspectives. It's always good to have multiple perspectives because I've heard the worst of the worst and that's what I'm preparing for. So um, yeah, do your research and no, it ain't cheap to become a realtor. Um, but I'm going to finish rambling on. Um, I will be uploading another one for North Carolina because I am getting licensed in North Carolina and Texas. So I'm going to be paying double this and then also, um, because I'm commuting to Texas, I'm having to fly, pay for flights, hotels, rental cars. 
so that I'm able to go do my test. So hopefully, I even have so much hope in myself that I'm gonna be paying $500 for a flight, hotel, and a rental car for a weekend to go take my test because I'm just so sure that I'm gonna pass. And yeah. So yeah, um, subscribe for me guys. Um, if you are here specifically for the realtor, my real estate journey, go ahead and like my folder, my playlist. It's in the eye somewhere, or you could just go to my um page and you'll see it. Um, and yeah, that's all I have for you guys. Thank you guys for watching. Um, leave any comments, any concerns, any questions. I'm willing to do the research for anybody because it teaches me something. If I don't know it, then I will know it after researching it for you. So yeah, thank you guys.